Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Smouse, and I'm an Early Childhood Behavior Support Specialist at the West Virginia Behavior and Mental Health Technical Assistance Center. Our center is a collaboration between the West Virginia Autism Training Center at Marshall University and the West Virginia Department of Education Office of Early Learning. Today, I want to share some resources that you can use at home to help your child identify big emotions and how to control anger and impulse. I think we can all agree that right now is a very stressful and unusual time in our lives due to COVID-19. As adults, we may be feeling stressed about how we're going to balance working with homeschooling. We may be worried about how we're going to pay our bills. And we may be fearful about the safety of ourselves and our family. This can also be a very stressful time for children as well. Children are very good at picking up on their parents' um, body language, the tone of their voice, their actions. So chances are if we are feeling and acting stressed that children are going to feel anxious and stressed as well. Second of all, with schools being closed, children's routines have been disrupted. They may be missing their friends and their teachers. And they may be fearful themselves that they're going to get sick. So these stressors can cause some big emotions. And big emotions can come out in ways such as hitting, screaming, or fighting. At school, we use my friend, Tucker the turtle, to teach children how to identify their emotions, pretend like they're a turtle and go into a shell, take some deep breaths until they are feeling calm and they can think of a solution or a way to feel better. Tucker the Turtle comes from the National Center for Pyramid Model Innovations and they have actually created a story for parents to use to teach Tucker the Turtle at home. So let's take a look at that story. Tucker Turtle takes time to tuck and think at home. Tucker Turtle is a terrific turtle. He lives with his family in a small pond. Sometimes things happen that make Tucker really mad. Like when his mom says, Tucker, it's time to stop playing and get ready for dinner. Or his friends say, you can't play with us. It used to be when Tucker got mad, he would hit, kick, or yell at his family and friends. His family and friends would get sad and scared. Tucker now knows a new way to stay calm when he gets mad. He can stop yelling and keep his hands and body to himself. He can tuck inside his shell and take three deep breaths to calm down. Tucker can then think of a solution to solve his problem. When Tucker stops and thinks, his body is calm and feels better. When he uses gentle touches and kind words with his family and friends, they feel happy and safe. Tucker's family practices stopping and thinking together, using Tucker's new way to calm down. You can access the Tucker Turtle at Home story by going to www challengingbehavior.org. Once on that page, you will see in the upper right hand corner, there is a green box labeled resource library. Click on it and then once in the resource library, you can enter in Tucker Turtle in the search box and it will populate a variety of Tucker the Turtle resources including Tucker Turtle Takes Time to Tuck and Think at Home in English and in Spanish, as well as a Tucker Turtle Song and Finger Play, which I'll talk about in a little bit. To simply view the story online, click on the blue title button. If you'd like to download and print the Tucker Turtle story, click on the orange download box to the right. Activities. Beyond reading the story, there are some fun activities that you can do at home as a family to extend learning and spark great conversations. There are a lot of great art activities out there that you can do with common household items such as 
a potato masher, or a bathroom poof, which were used to make turtles such as these. Art is a great way for children to express themselves and brainstorm ways to make themselves feel better or to solve a problem. These turtles were created by using fun materials such as the potato masher and the bath poof. You may have other materials at home that would be used for fun as well. Don't worry if you don't have green paint, that just opens up the creativity. The idea is to get children brainstorming about what they could do to solve problems and or feel better. One idea for a nice day is to have the whole family go outside and create turtles. You can create your turtles by using sidewalk chalk or looking up recipes online to make your very own chalk paint. Often these recipes require common household items such as flour, cornstarch, or even just grinding up some old sidewalk chalk. As each family member makes their turtle, they can talk about what it is that makes them mad or upset and share what they do to make themselves feel better. I had mentioned earlier that Tucker comes with his very own song and finger play, which is available for download and printing at the challengingbehavior.org website in the resource library under the Tucker Turtle at Home story. Music is a great way to help children remember the steps in a process, and it can be done at any time, such as when playing, going for walks, or even doing chores. Practice. It's also important that you practice, practice, practice your turtle steps. Teach the whole family the turtle steps so everyone knows what to do. Practice when your child is calm. Practice throughout the day before routines, such as getting dressed or getting a bath, or maybe while you're waiting on something, such as the mail carrier to come, go over your Tucker Turtle steps together. You can use the cue cards that are available at the end of the Tucker Turtle story to give kids a visual of the steps. And you can also place these in a central location around your home, or if you need to, place it in several places so the children can access the steps as needed. Model. Modeling is also important because children commonly imitate what they see. So when you as an adult are having a big emotion, vocalizing how you feel and how you're going to handle it can be a great help to children. So for example, when you are waiting on a phone call with customer service for a very long time, you can state out loud, I've been on the phone for a very long time. I haven't been able to talk to anybody yet. I'm starting to feel mad. I'm gonna do like Tucker Turtle. I'm gonna go in my shell, take some deep breaths. And when I feel calm, I think I'm gonna go get my favorite magazine to read while I wait. Or another example, let's say you break your favorite coffee mug and this makes you feel sad. So you can state out loud, I just broke my favorite coffee mug. I'm feeling very sad. But I'm gonna do like Tucker Turtle. I'm gonna go in my shell, take some deep breaths, and then I think I'm gonna go take a walk to make myself feel better. And this would be a great way for you to model for children how you handle your emotions appropriately. I hope you and your family will enjoy learning and using the Tucker Turtle strategy. Please make sure to check out the other great resources that are available at www.challengingbehavior.org and our West Virginia Early Childhood PBIS website, which is available at www.wvecpbis.org. We also have a Facebook page where we share lots of great tips, articles, and strategies. And you can find us on Facebook by searching West Virginia Early Childhood PBIS. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. For the most current information regarding the West Virginia Department of Education's response to the COVID-19 crisis, you can go to www.wvde.us slash COVID-19. This site also has resources for families as well as educators.